and welcome back to Jenna Gets Creative. A little bit different video today. I'm not doing a box. I'm not doing a review. I am just having fun making art. Not too, too long ago, but probably farther back than I realized. Art a la carte did a video on Dot Mandela's. She had a kit laying around that she hadn't used yet. She finally decided to use it. And it's the sort of thing that you would normally do on rocks. If you've seen all of the really cool Dot Mandela's painted on rocks, her kit had all of the tools to do it, but it provided round panels. And I thought that was really cool. And I realized that I have everything in that kit except the round panels. And round panels are not the point. But I thought I could take this idea and do it on paper in different mediums. It doesn't have to be a fairly runny, soft-bodied acrylic to do this. So I want to try the Dot Mandela's in several mediums, and eventually I am going to try it with the proper tools in acrylic paint. But today we're doing it in alcohol marker. So today I am using Strathmore marker paper. This is basically Bristol board. It's a very smooth, hard type paper, and it has been coated, I believe, on one side to make it more suitable for alcohol ink markers. Otherwise, why would they call it marker paper and sell it as marker paper? They could just call it Bristol board. I will be using my Prismacolor Cola Race in conjunction with my compass and my circle tool. We will create a whole bunch of circles all around a bigger circle in a mandala shape. And then I'm going to use my alcohol markers to color it in whatever way I want. Tell me in the comments down below what other medium do you want me to try this in or are you not at all interested in Dot Mandela's? So since this is a different kind of video, I don't really have a whole lot about the video to talk about and as per usual, I'm recording this voiceover before I do it so I can't even tell you how much I love or hate the final piece. So I'm just going to ramble at you guys about, you know, what I'm thinking, what I'm planning, that kind of stuff for the channel in general for the future and if you don't really want to listen to me ramble, you just want to chill and watch the Mandela happen, I will not be offended if you mute this video and listen to something else. First order of business, since we're doing a Mandela, I have been planning basically since the origin of this channel to eventually sell coloring books printed through Amazon basically. And I'm wondering in the comments down below, those of you who use adult coloring books, would you buy something by a YouTuber printed through Amazon, that kind of thing as a coloring book? Have you done it before? Do you have experience? Do you know what type of pages and stuff I should select? Have you ordered coloring books that are printed by Amazon and are they good quality? And would you be interested in a Mandela set by me? I could also offer it as a digital download. Would that be more or less appealing than a physically printed book ordered through Amazon? Please do let me know. I do really want to get on that. I really need the kick in the pants to actually finish it. Also, let me know, like, do you want them done traditionally first as videos, traditionally just for the sake of it, or would you rather see them done digitally? Do you mind if they're done digitally? There are different software options that I could select if I wanted to do all of my mandalas digitally that make it a little bit easier to get all of the quadrants and sections looking exactly the same. So on one hand, doing it traditionally, it looks more authentic, it has that organic feel to it, but it takes longer and I would have to scan it and clean it up digitally anyway. And maybe for a coloring book look, you want it to be exactly the same all the way around. I don't know. Let me know in the comments down below. Tell me what you think. Second order of business, as I've mentioned a couple of times already, I plan to be very busy starting in September. So I am already planning, looking ahead to the future, allowing myself to say that eventually this channel will have one properly pre-filmed and edited video a week and the other time, the other upload that week will be a live stream. And it's probably going to be working from a coloring book sort of deal live stream, just hang out and chat with whoever's there live in the audience and then either leave the straight live replay up for people to watch or edit the live replay and put it up for people to watch. First of all, if you haven't already responded to that, let me know in the comments down below, would you tune in for a live just 
adult coloring book type session with me? Would you come back for the replay if you couldn't watch it live? That sort of thing. And just on the topic of that, I would like to put up some pictures in the corner of what I have so far so that we can discuss like if you are interested in those live streams or recordings, what would you be interested in seeing me do? I have a Coloring Heaven Fantasy Cats special by Jeff Haney. I have not started coloring this one yet at all. I think it's really cute. Somebody I follow on Twitter has actually been coloring through this and I love seeing her progress and it would be really cool to compare directions that I went with it versus what she went with it when I get to these. And I would absolutely be interested in getting more of this type of the uh, Anthem Publishing big coloring heaven coloring books. Would you like to see me working through a book like that? in colored pencil, in marker, I don't know what yet. I do also have another dedicated coloring book. This is the Disney Dreams Collection Thomas Kincaid Studios coloring book. You may have seen it on YouTube already. I know Mira Byler has colored a page out of it. I think somebody else got it. Maybe Chloe Rose, I'm not sure. I will admit, it was Mira Byler's video that made me realize this existed and go and look for it. And it's surprisingly affordable. I'm really looking forward to trying it. And I want to know, would you be interested in seeing a live stream of me coloring a page, or part of a page, because it's going to be complicated, of the Thomas Kincaid Disney coloring book. And again, like, if coloring books as live streams take off, I could go get more. We're not limited to those. I do have a couple of little, like, sampler size books as well. They were ordered on AliExpress or Wish years and years ago, and I'm absolutely convinced that these are stolen artwork from other publications, so I'm I'm not so keen to use them. I basically, I keep them around because every time I think about doing a coloring book, it's nice to just flip through and see what sort of things made it into somebody's published book at some point. <laughs> but I have a Zen Mandela's that doesn't actually have many Mandela's and it is a lot of flowers and paisley. I have a tiny little staple bound version of Secret Garden. This is absolutely stolen work and I'm not sure that all the artwork in it is actually from the original Joanna Bastard Secret Garden, but I do have one if you want to see me just not taking it seriously. <laughs> and then I have a slightly bigger staple bound one called The Colorful and there's there's a picture of somebody in a indigenous headdress on the front. I don't think that that was in the product pictures when I ordered it because honestly that makes me a bit uncomfortable. That's uh, yeah, cultural appropriation. It has interesting artwork inside. I'm not convinced it's all the same artist. I am convinced that some of it is just digitally traced from photos, but it's interesting. Again, if you want to see me take stuff less seriously, I can use these cheap wish pirated coloring books. And then we have topics adjacent to coloring. I have the draw fee, draw along, draw something dumb book. You have seen me do this book as a couple of episodes on this channel. I used them as prompts and went and did something on other paper, not in the book. But for live stream purposes, we could actually complete pages in the book. And I do now have a copy of Create This Book by Mariah Elizabeth. This is the first one, not the second one, because I figured I'd start at the beginning. Yeah, I, I took the plunge. I decided to order one, and I thought that this could be a cool thing to do in live streams as well. So if you're interested in tuning into the live streams on this channel in the future or watching the replays. Which of these things are you interested in seeing me doing or do you have suggestions of other books that are coloring books or artsy activity books like this that I could get? What do you want to see me color? What do you want to see me waste our time on as we color and chat? And finally, new subscribers, old subscribers, whoever you are, if you've seen more than one of my video, if this is not the first one you're in, I would love your opinion. Which of my usual content do you want to see more of? Going on into the future for those pre recorded videos the like twice a week for now, once a week later on when I get busy in the fall. I do have Colors of the Month by Marker Universe. I do now have the Karen Colors Challenge monthly. I have the Art Attic Science upload on the third Friday of every month. Other than that, I have to come up with ideas, one or two ideas every single week. And I want to know which of my usual stuff do you 
like seeing most? Which of my usual stuff do you want to see more of? Which of my usual stuff are you less excited about? Is the No Box Art Box series your favorite? And if so, are there boxes you're dying to see me do that I haven't done yet? Do you really like the overdue art supply reviews where I do full researched deep dive reviews on supplies that I've been using for a long time? Would you like to see me do different things? Do you want to see me pull out my art instruction books and just follow lessons from other artists. Would you like to see me do more like this, where I just do something random and ramble at you? Let me know, because I want to make sure that I'm offering content that my audience actually wants to watch. Sometimes I really feel like I'm just only doing No Box Art Box, and I love that challenge. I know you guys love it too, but I don't want to be just the Art Box channel. <laughs> also, I used to do the uh, Pokemon mashup design series a lot, and I know there's like a handful handful of you in the audience that really, really loved it and miss it. There's something has gone on with YouTube's algorithm ever since the Paul brothers started the scandal with Pokemon cards during lockdown where people were being really, really stupid and rude to like Walmart and other big box store employees in the States. YouTube really saw that as a topic that's just not safe. And I do see big art channels continuing to do Pokemon themed content and they seem to not suffer at all. But like my content, when I try to put out a Pokemon video, it gets like nine views and there's no impressions percentage on it. Nobody is seeing it. Sometimes the comments turn themselves off and I don't get a notification that they're turned off. When I go and look in my video, it doesn't look like there's any reason for it to be turned off but I have to manually turn it back on. And then 24 to 48 hours, it'll be turned off again. So it's being moderated like a not safe video topic. I don't know if there's something I can do to change that. I don't know if the bigger channels are doing better with the Pokemon topic than I am because they've got such a big audience and such a big following that it's not really noticeable that maybe the videos are suppressed a little, or if like, it's just my channel is still lingering affected for some stupid reason. So let me know if I brought the Pokemon challenge back, would you definitely watch it? Would you be looking out for it? Would you be willing to do a little bit more than usual in terms of liking and sharing and that kind of thing to help push it in the algorithm to maybe get this topic not shadow banned on my channel. I'm hesitant to bring it back because I don't want to kill the channel or have like a really bad week in metrics, but I miss doing it. And I know some of you are huge fans of the Pokemon content. So let me know, is this something worth doing? Also, while it would suck and it looks bad when videos don't get as many views, now that I am monetized, it doesn't matter as much because fun fact that I didn't realize before working towards getting monetized, that 4,000 watch hour threshold, you're allowed to dip below it after you've been accepted into the partner program. So like, I don't have to do things that'll keep me in the clear with that limit anymore. I can be a little freer with it. It just like, let's also be honest. <laughs> at 1.6k subscribers, I should not have videos that are getting less than 100 views in a week. I, I recognize, I, like, I, I love you guys, I love my dedicated audience, but I recognize that a massive number of people who are subscribed to this channel don't come back, and that's a little disheartening. So again, like, that ties back into the Pokemon topic is something that I miss doing and something that I know, like, 10 of you are really excited about, but there's, you know, 1,500 of you that are not. And I, I don't know what's the right decision to make. Talk to me in the comments down below. What do you want to see on this channel? Would you help me promote Pokemon content if you really want to see Pokemon content back? I think I've rambled enough at this point. If you're looking for more to watch, I've got some suggestions up on the left side of the screen now. Don't forget to like, comment, maybe even subscribe. And if you like living life creatively, whatever that means to you, I'd love to have you along for the ride. Bye, guys.